today's review is on the Segway 9 Bot Mini Pro. It's commonly seen as a last mile solution and people use it for short distances rather than for a long haul journey. So I got this uh, last year in December thereabouts and I didn't have time to kind of review it but I've been using it for the past uh, seven months so uh, I do have quite a lot of experience with it and I think it's a good time to share my thoughts on its performance and uh, how it rides. So here's the box that it comes in. It's quite a large box as you can see. Let's just move it around. Sit and open it. There's some basic instructions at the top uh, telling you how to take out the equipment, the accessory box, how to assemble it, how to power it on, and how to connect it with your smartphone. So if you look inside, there are some further guidebooks, uh, some special tips, safety tips. Of course, I've taken it out, so uh, what's left are the accessories. Over here, you have the extended air tap. Uh, you use it to kind of pump air into your tires in case it gets deflated over time. And you have your charger here. It uh, works like a regular charger, so you plug it into your wall socket and then you just charge up your 9 bot Mini Pro. So I've taken out the 9 bot Mini Pro and uh, just to give you an idea of the size and the, and the dimensions, and here it is next to me. So it's quite large, but still relatively portable. At the top here, there's some cushioning for you to grip the control handle between your tie. So how it works is it steers via this middle section here. If you turn it to the left, it moves to the left. If you turn it to the right, then it moves to the right. There's also a handle up here. You can kind of pull it along if you don't want to ride it. For example, in the crowded, uh, on a crowded train or in the shopping mall. There's an adjustable knob here. You can adjust it up or down, depending on your preference. Looking closer at it, then uh, the build is quite sturdy. Over here, you have the on-off button. And if you can see it over here as well, there's a battery indicator as well as a Bluetooth indicator. And at the bottom over here, if you flip it open, it's where you charge the battery. There are two headlights at the bottom as well, which turn on at night. Uh, there's a light sensor on board. So when it's dark, then the headlights will turn on. At the rear of the 9 board Mini Pro then, there are LED strips over here. These LED strips can be customized to whatever color that you want via the smartphone app. So you can turn it to blue, to red, to yellow, and so on and so forth. So it's later in the day right now, and I just did this short segment to kind of show the headlights. So let me just activate it here. You can see the headlights turning on right here. So in the smartphone app, then there are several different functions over here. Speed, light, sensors and so on you can also look at your battery information as well as well as your speed and mileage so in terms of the light settings as I mentioned then you can change the lights you can change it just by swiping your hand so now it's green yellow and red so when you turn right then there's a signal light When you turn left, then there's a signal light as well. And when you reverse, the red lights come on. As I mentioned just now, the 9 Mini Pro can be connected to your smartphone. So over here is the 9 Mini Pro app. You can see the mileage remaining. And if I go to the next screen, it can show you your current ride time. It can show you your total mileage. Another interesting function is the Bluetooth remote control. You can control your 9 Bot Mini Pro via the smartphone. So if you move it to the top, then you can see it already. And if you shift it backwards, or if you shift it to the right, and forward. It's quite a gimmicky feature, but it's fun nonetheless. So I think there are four key specifications that the average user should be aware of. First of all then, uh, it has a range of 30 kilometers. Secondly, its top speed is 18 kilometers an hour. Thirdly then, it weighs a hefty 12.8 kilograms. It's really heavy. And the last one then, uh, it charges from empty to full in about four hours.
In general, then I find the 9 Mini Pro pretty useful. It beats walking definitely, and it's faster than taking the train sometimes. But one problem I have with it is the weight. It's pretty heavy, 12.8 kilograms. So once you're at the shopping mall or once you've reached your destination, then you have to kind of either roll it around or lug it around. So that's quite inconvenient. And it retails for about $1,200 here in Singapore. So it's quite expensive compared to the other solutions that you have like the hoverboards and your electric scooters and whatnot. it so far and uh, if you guys want to check it out then I hope you guys found this review useful.